Hi guys! Welcome sa Engineered Math Channel. Sa video na to ay magre-review tayo for Engineering Board Exam Mathematics. So kung gusto nyo itong matutunan, just keep on watching. Okay, so this time ay magre-review ulit tayo for Engineering Board Exam Mathematics which is Calculator Techniques Part 15 Okay, so dun sa Calculator Techniques Part 14 natin ay Nagkaroon tayo ng introduction on sequences and series So this time, dito sa Calculator Techniques Part 15 Ang particular type of sequence or progression na didiscuss ko is Is yung arithmetic sequence or progression Okay, so magsasagot tayo ng sets of problem Let's start with question number 1 Find the 25th term of the sequence 2, 5, 8, 11, and so on. Okay, so obviously, arithmetic siya kasi meron tayong common difference dito sa ating sequence which is, pag sinubtract natin to, we have 5 minus 2 is 3, 8 minus 5 is 3, right? So therefore, arithmetic sequence siya. So kapag meron tayong arithmetic sequence, ang gagamitin natin sa calcu is yung mode 3, 2 Siya yung stat Tapos merong A plus BX So after nyo mapindot itong mode 3, 2 May lalabas sa monitor ng calcu na X, Y So column X, column Y Dito nyo input sa X yung bilang ng term So let's say the first term, the second term And then dito sa Y yung corresponding term For example, sa first term we have 2 right Tapos sa second term we have 5 So, kahit at least 2, pwede nyo i-input doon. And then, after nyo ma-input to, press nyo yung AC. So, ngayon, ang i-input nyo is, dahil hinahanap natin is 25th term, input nyo is yung 25, then Y hat. Ibig sabihin na itong Y hat, siya yung nagko-correspond doon sa term. Pag sinabi namang X hat, siya yung nagko-correspond kung pang ilang term. So, for example, naglagay ako dito ng... 100. So, meaning yung 100 is a term dun sa sequence. Pag minultiply ko dun sa x hat, ibig sabihin, nahanapin ko kung pang ilang term yung 100. So, so ang kailangan natin is kung anong term yung pang 25. So, ito yung gagamitin natin. 25 y hat. Okay. So, sige, pakita natin sa calc yung kung paano input. Okay. So, punta kayo sa mode 3 and then 2. Yung a plus bx. So, nalabas na nga yung x at y column. So, input nyo dito sa x is at least two terms, right? So, 1 equals, then 2 equals. Tapos, punta kayo doon sa y column. So, up and then right. Mapapunta siya doon sa y. So, input nyo yung corresponding value ng first term doon sa sequence, which is 2, right? And then, enter. Then, yung second term is 5, right? So, input nyo 5. Okay, so at least 2 lang pwede na. And then, press AC. Ngayon, input natin is 25 y hat, right? Yung nasabi ko dun kanina. So, press nyo lang 25 and then shift 1 kasi nandun yung stat. Tapos, piliin nyo yung 5 and then piliin nyo yung y hat, yung number 5. Then, press equal. Masasolve nyo yung pang 25th term which is 74. Okay. So, therefore, the answer is letter B. Okay? Next, we have from the sequence 5, 12, 19, 26, 362 dot, 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 is what term of the progression? Okay, so this time, meron tayong sequence na given. Ang pinapahanap is kung pang ilang term daw itong 362 dito sa sequence. Right? So, punta ulit tayo sa mode 3, 2 kasi arithmetic siya, di ba? May common difference sila na ilan. 19 minus 12 is 7. 12 minus 5 is 7. So, confirm na arithmetic sequence. So, munta kayo sa mo 3, 2. Then, input nyo nga ulit yung given first 2 na 1, 2, 5, 12. Right? And then, press AC. This time, ang i-input nyo is 362 x hat. Meaning, nga hanapin natin kung pang ilang term itong 362 dito sa sequence. Okay? So, sige, try natin sa calcule. Okay, punta ulit tayo sa mode 3, 2 for arithmetic sequence. And then, input sa x, 1, 2. Then, punta sa y, yung corresponding first term is 
5 and then equal second term is 12. Okay? So, press AC and then pinapahanap kung anong term yung 362. So, press 362 and then shift 1 then press 5 then this time, piliin natin yung 4 for x hat. So, therefore, mahanap natin kung pang ilang term si 362. Press equal. So, therefore, the answer is 52nd term. Okay? So, therefore, the answer is letter C. Okay? Next, find the common difference of an arithmetic progression if the first and 20th term are 2 and 116 respectively. Okay, so ganun pa rin dahil arithmetic mode 3, 2. And then this time, ang input nyo is yung first saka 20th term. So sa x, input nyo yung 1 saka 20, tapos sa y, yung corresponding value ng first saka 20th term, which are 2 and 116 respectively. Okay, and then press AC. Now, para masolve natin dito yung common difference, pipiliin nyo doon sa shift 1, this time yung B. Diba meron tayo ng pagpipilian na X hat, Y hat, dot, 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 and so on. This time pipilian yung B para masolve nyo yung common difference. Or pwede rin para makuha nyo yung common difference, subtract nyo yung second term sa first term. Meaning, pwede nyo gawin is 2 Y hat minus 1 Y hat. Ibig sabihin ng Y hat, diba yung corresponding term, tapos yung number sa unahan niya kung pang ilang term yon. So, therefore, pag kinuha mo yung second term minus yung first term, makukuha mo yung common difference. So, other solution to. Okay, so sige, try natin. So, punta ulit tayo sa mode 3, 2. And then, input natin yung first, tsaka 20th term. So, the first term is 2. And the 20th term is 116. Okay, then press AC. So, pindutin nyo shift 1. And then, 5. Now, piliin nyo yung number 2 for B. Kasi yun yung common difference. Press equal. So, the answer is 6. Or yung sabi ko, 2Y hat minus 1Y hat. So, 2, then shift 1, reg, 5, minus 1, shift 1, 5, 5. So, we have 2Y hat minus 1Y hat is equal to, so, same lang na 6. So, therefore, the answer is 6. Okay. So, therefore, the answer is letter A. Okay? Next, we have, find the sum of the first 25 terms of the sequence 2, 5, 8, 11. Okay, so this time, series naman yung hinahanap, meaning sum nung first n terms. So, this time, pinapahanap sum nung first 25 terms nitong sequence na to. So, arithmetic ulit siya kasi may common difference sila na 3. Right? So, ganun pa rin, mode... 3, 2, and then input nyo yung first two terms. So, 1, 2, then 2, 5. Okay? Then, AC. Ngayon, gagamit tayo ng sigma, yung summation. So, press nyo yung summation, and then, meron kayong parenthesis na lalagyan nyo ng input. So, lagay nyo, input nyo, alpha x, and then y hat, comma, so, pinapahanap yung sum ng first term up to 25th term. So, therefore, input nyo, 1, for the first term, then comma, 25. For the last term na, 25. Okay? So, so ibig sabihin itong operation na to, ia-add nito yung lahat ng terms ng sequence na to from 1 to 25. Okay? So, sige, try natin yung input sa calcu. Okay, so punta ulit tayo sa mode 3, 2. Then, input natin yung first two terms. So, sa x, we have 1, 2. And then, sa y, we have 2 and 5. Okay, press AC. Now, pindutin natin yung shift log kasi na din yung summation symbol, yung sigma. And then, input natin alpha x, then y hat. So, shift 1, 5. Piliin natin yung y hat. Okay, then shift, comma, then 1 for the first term, then comma ulit, 25 for the last term na pinapahanap na 25. And then, press close parenthesis. So, press equal sign. Masasolve nyo yung sum of the first 25 terms as 950. Okay? 
So, therefore, the answer is letter A. Okay? Next, we have find the sum of the first 150 positive even integers. Okay, so this time series ulit. So, add daw natin yung first 150 positive even integers. So, magsistart yun sa 2, then 4, 6, then 8, dot, 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 and so on. So, therefore, pwede natin i-input sa calculus. So, mode 3 to ulit. X, Y. So, first two terms lang. So, 1, 2, then 2, 4. Right? For the first and second term. Then, press AC. So, summation ulit. X, Y hat. Then, comma, 1. And then, comma. Da Dahil sum ng first 150 positive even integers yung pinapahanap, input natin 150 for the last term. Then, close parenthesis. Then, press equal. Masasolve natin yung sum ng first 150 positive even integers. Okay, so sige, try natin input sa CalQ. Okay, so punta ulit tayo sa mode 3, 2. And then input natin yung first two terms. So 1, 2, and then 2, 4. Okay, then AC. Then shift log for the sigma. So press alpha X, and then shift 1, 5. Y hat ulit na 5. Then shift comma, then 1, shift comma. 150. Then, close parenthesis. So, press equal. We have 22,650. Okay? So, therefore, the answer is letter A. Okay? Next, we have find the sum of all integers between 200 and 500 that is divisible by 3. Okay, so, dahil divisible by 3, ibig sabihin, pwede natin i-apply yung arithmetic progression dito with common difference of 3. Pero ang first step ay kailangan muna nating malaman yung first at last term na included dito sa integers between 200 and 500 na divisible by 3. So, para malaman natin yung first term, yung 200, yung lower limit, divide natin sa 3. Kasi divisible by 3 yung pinapahanap, di ba? So, anong sagot? 66.666 So, ang laging gagawin nyo is i-round up nyo to. So, magiging 67. And then, multiply nyo doon sa 3 ulit. So, 67 times 3 is 201. Okay? So, ito yung first term nyo between 200 and 500 na divisible by 3. Right? So, paano naman yung last term? So, this time, yung 500 naman na upper limit yung di-divide natin sa 3. So, ano yun? 500 divided by 3 is 166.666 dot dot dot. So, this time, i-round down nyo naman. So, ilan to? 166. Right? And then, multiply nyo ulit sa 3, we have 498. So, therefore, yung 498, yung pinaka-last term na divisible by 3 between 200 and 500. Okay? So, ngayon, Pwede na natin i-input sa CalCU yung first n term. So, mag-start tayo sa first term na ito yung 201. Tapos, second term, aadan lang natin ito ng 3. So, 204, right? So, punta kayo sa mode 3 to uli. So, x, y. So, ito yung i-input nyo. Right? Tapos, kailangan natin isum, di ba? So, meron tayong last term. So, kailangan natin mahanap yung ang ilang term itong last term na 498 para pag ginamit natin yung sigma symbol may input tayo doon sa panghuling number kung saan kailangan natin yung last term para malaman natin kung hanggang ilang sum yung i-add natin dun sa sequence so parang we have x times y hat comma 1 then comma yung unknown na term kung pang ilan itong 498 so para malaman nyo input nyo sa calcu is Diba na-input nyo na to? After nyo may input to, input nyo naman sa calcul is 498x hat. Sabig sabihin, hanapin natin kung pang ilang term itong 498. Sa so, pag nahanap natin yun dito, kung ano mang value nya, input nyo ngayon dito sa sigma notation. So, input nyo yun ngayon dito, then close parenthesis, then press equal, masasolve natin yung sum of all integers between 200 and 500 na divisible by 3. Okay, so sige, try natin sa CalQ. Okay, punta ulit tayo sa mode 3, 2. 
So, input muna natin yung given sequence. Diba alam natin yung first two terms na? So, yung first term is 201. Tapos, yung second term is add lang natin ng 3. So, 201 plus 3 or 204. Okay? Then, AC. Then, hanapin nga natin kung pang ilang term yung 498. So, input natin 498. Then, shift 1, 5. Then, x hat. So, press 4. Equals... 100. So, therefore, ang hanapin natin is up to 100 terms ng sequence na yun. Starting from 201 to 498. So, summation tayo. So, shift log for sigma, then alpha x, then shift 1, 5, then y hat, 5, then shift comma, 1, shift comma, 100. Then, close parenthesis, equals... 34,950. So, this is the sum of all the integers between 200 and 500 that is divisible by 3. Okay? So, therefore, the answer is letter A. Okay? Next, we have how many terms of the progression 4, 8, 12, dot, 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 must be added in order that their sum will be 5,100. Okay? So, series ulit. So, pag ganito yung given natin, pinapahanap kung ilang terms yung dapat natin i-add para makaproduce ng ganitong sum. Ang gagawin natin is trial and error. So, so input muna natin sa CalQ, mode 3, 2, yung given terms dun sa sequence. So, x, y, 1, 2, yung first two terms is 4, 8. Then, press AC. Right? So, press nyo yung sigma symbol for summation. Then, alpha x, y hat, Then, comma 1. Then, comma. So, isa-isa nyo ngayon yung choices. Let's say, sa 30. So, kapag in-input nyo yung 30 at nag-equal dito sa 5,100, then that's the answer. So, kung hindi man, proceed kayo sa other choice. Let's say, 40. Hanggang sa makuha nyo yung tamang sagot dun sa problem na given na yung sum is dapat 5,100. Okay? So, sige, try natin sa CalQ. So, punta ulit tayo sa mode... 3, 2, and then input natin yung first two terms. So, 1, 2. So, yung first term is 4. Second term is 8. Right? Then, AC. Then, shift log for the sigma. Then, alpha x. Shift 1, 5. Pili natin yung y hat. So, 5. Then, shift comma. 1, comma. So, let's say mo na yung letter A na 30. Okay? Then, close parenthesis. Try natin kung mag-equal siya sa 5,100. Okay, so hindi. So therefore, try natin yung choice B, 40 naman. Okay, then press equal. So hindi pa rin. So try natin yung choice C, this time 50 naman. Equals. Okay, so nag-equal na sa 5,100. So therefore, the answer is letter C. Okay. So, therefore, the answer is letter C. Okay? So, I think that's it for this video, Calculator Techniques Part 15. So, abangan nyo na lang yung next video ko for Engineering Board Exam Review, Mathematics, Calculator Techniques Part 16. Okay? So, sana ay may natutunan kayo sa video na to at maraming salamat sa panonood.